What's up everyone? Drew Snipes here with Beers and Gears and on today's episode we're going to do a review and demo of another Stax pedal. Uh, this was requested by somebody wa who watched the Holy War Stax effects pedal and I appreciate it. I appreciate all the suggestions. I try to do what I can to fulfill them. Here it is. This is the Stax O-Drive 11. Uh, this is Stax's Tube Screamer copy. Kind of excited about this, though I've never owned a Tube Screamer. I always loved the sound that they make. Uh, the artists that have used them. Uh, just love Tube Screamers. Just never had my hands on one. Ibanez, if you're watching, hit me up, man. Let's work this out. Yeah, you're probably not watching. So let's open this thing up. Uh, Stax pedals, they do come in a plastic wrap. I've taken that off for the video. Let's open it. So just like the Holy Wars, it comes in a nice foam pad around it. Pedal is not wrapped in plastic, but it's not going anywhere. Uh, I think it's packed very nice. Power outlet on the top, which is great. Or power input on the top, which is great. You get three knobs, you get a tone, you get a level and a gain. You also get a two-way switch which is for drive, or it says hot and warm. Kind of excited to see what that does. Let's hook this thing up, see what we get. Signal chain today is going to be the Kramer Beretta Special, the ruby red one. She's a little feistier than the purple one, but I think that'll work great for this pedal. Going into the pedal, into the clean channel of the Randall RX120 RH. Sounds like this. If you saw my video yesterday, I did have the RG100 Classic go down. Sad, sad time, sad day. <laughs> Hopefully it's just a blown fuse. Please like, share, and subscribe for future content to see what actually ends up happening with the Randall RG100. Pray it's a blown fuse. Now let's get into this review. All knobs at 12 o'clock. This is the Stax O Drive 2. Let's get a little bit more volume. Let's go hot. It's not really hot, it's more loud. Go back to warm and let's twist the knob. hearing a difference but I'm definitely not hearing a difference in the room the gain knobs not really doing much of anything uh, even cranked all the way up it didn't really give you much push I'll just show you so all the way up all the way down I guess a little bit but that's not noticeable I would expect like more more oomph more crunch or something Turn everything all the way up. I mean, that's okay. 
familiar to write home about. Let's uh, turn everything back to 12. Turn the distortion channel on the Randall. Turn the pedal off. This is the distortion. <laughs> Turn the pedal on. makes the distortion sound crunchier and tighter that's so I guess it does what a tube screamer is supposed to do um, I don't know kind of under underwhelmed with this one yeah I've had a lot of tube screamers I've had a, a max on 808 that are just killer drive pedals a lot of mini pedals um, the, the Amazon basics drive pedal was really good it's supposed to be a tube screamer the Delamos were tube screamer copies and they were really really good I don't know Kind of think they missed it on this one. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Kind of think they missed on this one. Maybe I did something wrong. Let me know if I did something wrong. I'll re review it. But this has been Drew Snipes with Beers and Gears. This is the Stax O Drive 2. See you in the next one. <laughs>